up on April 12th is the Scholastic Aptitude Test. Now, this is for juniors. Seniors don't need to worry about it unless you want to take it. You can. Anyway, it's an important test. You should have a Khan Academy account. If you don't have a Khan Academy account, talk to Mrs. Acker or Mrs. Newstead because that is a great free place to practice. That's yeah. where you want to go to get ready so that you are fully prepared. This is an important test. College scholarships depend on it. You're going to want to do well. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Cause I Algorma's own Andrew Arns is going to be on TV, that's right, on TV, to display his musical talent on PBS television. PBS, guys. They are taping today and it will be arriving later this month. We will be sure to let everyone know that the date and time Andrew will be performing at St. Louis Blues, distressed in a 1940s clothing. Congratulations, Andrew. We're all really proud of you. I'm closer to you, but I feel like I'm so far away. This Wednesday, our small groups will be meeting during the regular chapel times. And so you remember where to go, who your small group leaders are. The topic of discussion is managing your money. You, you're scared to take a step, afraid to see what's next. So you wait till you think it's safe to move. You tend to think too much. You need to open up your heart to see where he is leading with the lamb. Just for your feet, a spotlight just for your path. All right, guys, we're back at it again with the March Madness update. Megan is doing really good. She's got 97 points. The next closest is. The Big Tuna himself, he's got 91 points. And then Andrew is still doing pretty good. He's got 86 points. I know those Spartans are out, but he must not have picked them. He must have picked Syracuse, which no one picked. So fourth place, we got Emily, who's got 77 points. So good job. Keep up the hard work. I know that picking brackets isn't very hard, but you guys are smart. So hopefully you find the right picks. It's me again. Back here, you thought this story was over. It's not. So we have an update on Mr. T. He finally got a transplant. He's first on the list. So his transplant is scheduled to be April 25 if he stays healthy. So let's make sure to pray for Mr. T so he can stay healthy. Everybody loves donuts. Hi guys, don't forget about getting goodies at the morning cafe. Open every morning this week, but after spring break, the cafe goes to the Friday only. So you can still get your donuts on Donuts Day. Hey guys, you can pre order your yearbooks now. Get it for only $22. Cheapest price they are going to be. Check out the flyers or these cards to order them online before May 26. Do it. Hello everybody, Mr. Scott here with this week's weather. Hey, Tuesday starts out great, 57 in sunshine and a low of only 36. But look, it out, look for it on Wednesday, 50% chance of showers, high of 65. Boy, talk about nice warm weather. And if you look on Thursday, 90% chance of rain, a low of 47. Um, we're going to have to watch out for those outside practices on Thursday because I think it's going to be rather wet. So, thank you very much. For spring break, I am going to travel to Illinois with my wife and my dog and visit my family um, over in Sterling, Illinois, up on the northwest end, so I'll be doing some traveling. I'm sleeping in and doing nothing. This year for spring break, I'm just going to hang out at home with my two boys and hopefully hang out with some of the boys' friends and maybe go visit Grandma and Grandpa for a couple of days. I'm going to work on my calf muscles, just like these guys. I'm sleeping spring break. I'm going down to Illinois to see some For old family. For spring break this year, we're going to avoid the trip to Florida because of all the traffic. Maybe we'll go in the summer. But anyway, this spring break, we're going to go to uh, Cincinnati to see the Cincinnati Zoo and the Creation Museum. 